Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, March the 19th. Yes. <laughs> and it is National Poultry Day. <laughs> so I didn't make a new crochet project for this. I already had one in my house. And uh, a lot of people have been asking about it. It's in the background of some of my videos that I record in my living room. And I've had a few questions about it. So I thought I would share it today in today's poultry day. So it's perfect. So here's my poultry for poultry day. This is my chicken. It's really blown out <laughs> on a nest and it actually is made with a two liter soda bottle bottom and top so it's like a little container <laughs> super cute i love this Woo, i'm dropping it everywhere this nest was a pain in the butt to make though that's a lot of loop stitches right there and i do not like loop stitches but uh this is an adorable pattern i love it and there's somebody that he's been living on my mantle in the living room just to get some down plays with him every now and then but uh yeah so it's just like a little candy bowl or something. Let me set it down. And I found the pattern. I got this book right here from my local thrift store. Probably like two years ago or a year and a half ago. I can't remember <laughs> when, but it's been a while. But it's called Crochet for Today. I believe it's, yeah, it's Leisure Arts. And I think it was from the 90s. Let me see what the, or the early 2000s. I can't remember. 96. So I was six years old when this was published. <laughs> But it's in this book. It's got a bunch of crochet patterns. Um, like I said, I found it at my local thrift store. But you can find it um, on Amazon, on thrift books. If I can find it on any of those things, <laughs> I will link it below in the description if you want to try to grab it. But it's called Quick Nesting Hen Candy Dish. Here. Here's the picture. I use safety eyes. But, um... I have the designer's name on here. I remember I found it back when I was first talking about it. I don't see the designer's name right here. But I will try to find the links to it. I could never find it as a written pattern on the internet anywhere. Uh, because it's obviously a paper pattern. It's in a book. But I will, if I can find it on Amazon and thrift books, and I'll look around. I'll just Google the name of this book. Try to find a few links where it's available to link it down below if you guys are interested in trying to get it. It's got a lot of cute patterns in it. But I remember when I first got this, I knew that chicken was going to be something I made. <laughs> for sure. And I did. So yeah, you just take a two liter bottle and you cut the middle out. So the top where the lid is in the chicken. And the bottom is in the nest. <laughs> and I just hot glued it around the top. And I kind of bent it over so that there would be no sharp plastic edges. This is like red heart gold, I think. And this is white and cherry red and probably pumpkin. <laughs> and yeah, so... You make the little, the body of the chicken and the wings and the tail are separate. This, the uh, the red parts and the, the nose, beak, <laughs> are also separate and you just sew them on there. But yeah, I think he's adorable. His eyes are a little wonky because like I said, I love that. Like I said, <laughs> I use safety eyes so they got a back. Um, the one in the book is like got cut out of felt, I think. Or you could even stitch them on, I'm sure. But I think that's okay. I love my chicken. Jesse does play it a lot. I'm always like looking in there and there'll be toys <laughs> down in it. And uh, yeah, he's just cute. He just, or she, I guess it's a she. <laughs> she lives in the living room. And uh, I just, I love her. <laughs> I was actually at my, my local thrift store yesterday and I found two crochet things similar to this, but they were bunny rabbits. I took a picture of it. I'll insert them here. Um, but they were made with the soda bottles as a container. And I thought that was so cool. I didn't buy them because I didn't need them. <laughs> I just thought I'd leave them there for someone else who wanted them. But um, they had the soda bottles also, and they were containers. There was a girl and a boy bunny. So I thought that was really cute. There's probably a bunch of these patterns out there. Um, I might go look around on the internet, see if I can find any more, because it's cute and kind of practical. <laughs> It'd be cute setting out with uh, Easter candy that looks like little eggs. You know, the little, like, Cadbury eggs and all that. Down in there, that would be really cute. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's my poultry project for National Poultry Day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Do you guys make any chickens today? <laughs> or turkeys or whatever. Whatever else constitutes poultry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just love this chicken. I'm going to go put him back where he belongs. And I'll try to find some links to this book. It is an older book. I mean, it's 96. That's almost 30 years ago. Um, so, it might be kind of hard to find. I just happened to find it at my thrift store. And it was, like, brand new. I felt like it. You know, like, when you open a new book, it makes that cracking noise. <laughs> um, I did that with this one. So, I don't think it had ever been opened before I bought it. But yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and put my chicken back where he belongs, where she belongs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.